always uh, kind of have a soft spot working with like families like that. So it's really cool having Andy and the boys goes back. My dad got me into snowmobiling and that was that was kind of the special thing we had with our like our relationship. But gosh, it's been I think coming on 16 years ago now that he passed away. So anytime I get to work with like father and son or family combos, it's just a little bit extra special. to get into kind of into some stuff kind of like that kind of steeper tighter trees and and work on like the downhill direction changes and really that vision of, of riding that stuff not just getting in or getting out of it but really riding and like really having fun with the hillside like that um so what we're going to start on now is directional changes downhill setting that up and what i'm talking about Right here we have a bunch of room, so that's where we're gonna kind of start, but I'm talking sharp, precise, like 90 degree turns where we make that happen quickly. The benefit to that is we get into more advanced terrain. With this move, not only are we avoiding the obstacles and changing our path, but if, if you initiate this, you generate a lot of momentum. So if you need to go back uphill, this is a great way to start that. And, and then you can turn it either side hill across or side hill up, or sometimes, Sometimes we gotta make a 180 and come back up the hill. Where we always wanna start with this is getting our sled pointed straight down the hill. As long as I'm pointed straight downhill, I can I can go to either side, left or right, and, and initiate and set it on, on edge very easily. Okay, so I'm gonna come in in neutral, going real nice and slow, working that throttle and brake. When I get to that point, I'm gonna jump to this side. It's important, try to land with your foot in the middle of the running board, halfway back. So at the same time that my foot is contacting the running board, I want to rip the throttle, and that's going to turn that sled on edge. I may not even have to counter steer, maybe just a little bit to initiate it. Looking uphill, you're going to lead with that. So as it starts coming over, I'm looking that way, and you might need to steer into the hill a little bit to make that really sharp, precise turn. And looking uphill, force yourself to, to cheat and look way uphill. The last part is make sure you're giving a burp, 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 burp as you go through this. So visualize, plan it out in your head where you want to make this happen. We want to be planning at all times about three or four moves ahead, and that's how far ahead we want to be looking. So let, let's watch. We can learn a lot watching. So that was really good. I. I when we get back with him, I'm gonna offer him two suggestions. One, that foot back a little bit and work the short, quick blitz. That, that, burp, 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 we gotta just develop that habit. Good. <laughs> He turned his head, but he didn't actually look. The second that track continues to turn and starts to spin, it goes from here to here to here to here to here. All we want is prep, prep, and then stop. And I always use a one, two, three of the throttle. Prep, prep, prep. On that third one, that tells everybody that's helping, that's when we give our input. And then our input is at the same time as the engagement of the clutch, when the sled is at its lightest point. The sled's trying to lift, that's when we can manipulate it and we're most effective there. One more thing to add on top of this, these little things that we're trying to do to make this easy, kind of the final piece is breathe. Eyes up, eyes up, look at where you want to get that foot back. There you go. Do you think you can ride up and get up on top of that? Maybe. Like, think... Oh, got her kind of up and down. There we go. <laughs> Just gonna pull 
automobile. Slide over, roll it. <laughs> How did we get into this position? Well, side hill on a sick line. It was a sick line, I'll give you that. <laughs> but then we ended up here, so. There we go. Okay. Oh, you're ready for the next sick line. Yeah! What a super sick little feature this is. Dude! Great riding! Yeah! Hey, your brother said good job following his line. Yeah, that's it, man. Sibling rivalry, man. I like it. Who's the better rider of you guys? Yeah, that's what I like. Good job. Nice. Talk about using the train to our advantage. Pretty awesome classroom. We're working in here. I could use a little ski pole, he says. <laughs> ah, nice work, Ben. Yeah. Um, I'll meet you down there. Oh, here we go. Got the downhill. Good line, Andy going first. Yeah, there you go. Oh, save it, save it. kind of wide open though I made that look I took the easy route up <laughs> that's tight in there I've got a, a three-part checklist that so it's happening can can yeah. I fit or yeah. or is it is it doable to you know is there space to do this yes yep. check number two is is the machine I'm on how what it is with what the conditions are today is the machine capable of doing this yep third thing is have I read the terrain? Do I know what it's going to take to ride through whatever this is? And if I look at it, I read the terrain, I see the different things, I see the soft spot, I don't want to step in, <laughs> then. <clears throat> yeah. But I, I look at it and I know what it's going to take, like I mentally I ride it. Twice. Check, yep, I know what I need to do. If I, those three boxes are checked, hell yes, I'm going to make it and I'm going for it. And I've learned with this boost that I can really find the soft sugary stuff really quick by staying the throttle, so. I'm finding that balance of, you know, brake and sharp, quick little throttle blips that have really been keeping me up on top. And I mean, with this track, I can just kind of walk across it and go as slow as I want. So confidence is definitely, you know, on the up and up. And so it's been a lot of fun. What kind of stuff did you get into over there? It's wide open, like not really wide open, but just steep, tight. And yeah, side hilling, back end, slipping down to tree wells. <laughs> Line changing. Rolling yeah. sleds over. Yeah. A couple tree well foot plants. Did you Great. see me? One time you and Josh were cutting to the right and I was right under you cutting to the left. I made a downhill turn that I never thought I would ever have made it and uh, kept going. Yeah, it was yes! Great. It was yes! Great. Yeah, it was Mission awesome. accomplished. You came up, you rolled it, and that got you out, and then you guys just ripped across. It's like the yeah. cliff face above me with Jackson hanging on for your life. Yeah, I watched <laughs> that too. For that Dad, ja Dad and Jackson were talking, and Dad's yeah. like, hey, let's go over to the uh, the easier lines for a little bit. And Jackson's like, no, those are boring. <laughs> These may be harder, but they're more fun. <laughs> yeah, like the throttle. Watching you guys, this like, can't tell. This gets me a little excited, but gets me fired up. Pumped for you guys. <laughs>
<laughs> that's the official sign of it's time to go home. Like that's it, they're done, no more. <laughs> it's safe. Absolutely awesome day out on the snow. So much fun getting to spend time with these guys. Started out kind of slow going through a few things. We wanted to kind of gauge where they were at for now so we knew what was appropriate terrain and what kind of things we could work with them on. They really got after it. It was a lot of fun seeing their progression, where they're at now. It's really awesome. Great riders, so fun to work with them. Our goal is to exceed our clients' expectations and we have such a high standard for the experience we want them or you to get when you come out and, and ride with us. And hopefully we got to share some of that. We're, we're thankful we get to do what we are. And it, it's awesome having all these guys that come back year after year after year. I hope that kind of speaks volumes. We, we really enjoy what we get to do. So thanks for tagging along with us. Check us out online at mountainskills.com. We've got the online store and get all your climb gear another stuff there and hope that we get to see you on the snow. Yeah, yeah. that's awesome. Thanks for great a day. great day. Yeah. Hell yeah. Busting your butts. Good day. Having fun. Lots of What's a three letter word that starts with gas? Gas. Oh, do you want me to use for uh -huh. A car. <laughs> 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 nice. <laughs>